Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys for this, from the Citizen's Voice. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. T-Mobile to open a new store in Shavertown. So this is an ongoing development, right? They, they T-Mobile opens up new stores in small market rural areas uh, pretty consistently to expand their reach and, of course, the distribution. Now, this is a big deal. Right, you guys will start seeing that Q3. Can't say much yet, but it's going to be a huge quarter for T-Mobile. Maybe their best ever quarter in the history of the company. Like literally across the board, all finances, uh, growth, and that's what they're signaling. And these new stores are going to be a big problem for Verizon and AT&T moving forward. And we'll get into that in different videos. I think Verizon needs to adjust now. Right, the my plan is not working tell you guys right now the ultimate the unlimited ultimate is, is not working in terms of growing the base um the the my plan itself before they even introduced the ultimate option it hasn't it hasn't done anything for them t-mobile's port ratios are continuing continuing to increase big time right there's a new uh there's a new vendor I've told, I can't give any specifics, but market share numbers are out there. And T-Mobile is growing, well, they're growing quick, especially in these small market rural areas. They're very effectively uh, targeting regional uh, areas and it is working. Everything that they put forth so far is, is working and they're exceeding their own plan. And they continue driving new customers into the stores, which continues growing their fixed wireless access base. And at the same time, it, it, it continues to grow. They continue growing their wireless base as well at the same time. So this is a big deal, right? Because now they have the new plans that are priced higher. They got the Go 5G next that, that's priced even higher. So their finances are going to start increasingly get better each and every quarter now. The profits, the margins are going to increase. And you're going to start seeing that in the bottom line as they report. I think Q3 is going to be a big indicator in that. Q4 is going to be another indicator that they're growing the, the bottom line. And then all of 2024 is going to be a really big year for, for that company, man. I know they have their ups and downs. I know the, the layoffs aren't good. But, man, they're going to post some some pretty big numbers these next few quarters and one thing that they've always been able to do is grow the company very smartly strategically but they they really could never back it up with the financials right and that was a negative that was perceived a negative by a lot of people but t-mobile is going to change that too the finances are going to look better and the network is going to be the biggest it's ever been since the inception of t-mobile usa so that's a, that's a good step in the right direction for, for, for a competition. I do wish T-Mobile was more disruptive in this case because we don't really have a disruptive fourth player yet. But T-Mobile is doing what they need to do to be able to grow the bottom line, continue growing the network the way that they are to bring more competition to these small markets and rural areas. It's really hard to scale the network in, in large, you know, larger parts of the geographical uh, United States because it you know it's it's very spread out very far apart and then when you get to these areas these small market rural areas they don't really have a lot of people living in them right some of these towns are like 5,000 10,000 people max some are even smaller there are some areas where T-Mobile is deploying 2.5 where only like 500 people live so that you know that has to it has to economically make sense for the company to really start deploying there so they're trying their best and you know the bottom line has to increase and that's what they're doing they're looking at it strategically smartly they're deploying where they know they can grab share and they are confident in most cases wherever they go they should be able to grab share no problem as soon as they get there they open the stores the network's already there the, the, the brand is known by national marketing. Lots of people in these areas have been wanting to try them out. So it's just a win-win overall. 
So let me know what you think about this. I'll leave this article in the description so you guys can check it out. Again, new stores opening every day across the country. And, you know, T-Mobile is taking advantage. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.